Folks, this is the Urban Louisville Chess Club podcast, and this is Coach talking to you, and I'm interviewing uh, Miss Brandy G. She's the mother of Chess Master D, one of our top players in the chess club. So we're just going to talk to a little bit about uh, a little bit about Donovan, how he got involved in chess, and and uh, things like that. But before I do, I want to remind people. Please go to Facebook, put in the search engine, Urban Louisville Chess Club, and become a friend. And then also go to YouTube. We do have a YouTube channel, and we also have a podcast channel. YouTube.com, just put in Urban Louisville Chess and subscribe. And uh, the podcast, you can find us really on any podcast agency channel, I guess you might say, but... We go through Spreaker, S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R dot com. We also do, I know we're on Spotify, and I know we're also on Podcast Addict. Now let's go on into the interview, folks. Sis, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So let's just sort of go back to the beginning a little bit. It's my understanding that uh, Donovan got involved through a summer chess camp why did he did he make the decision to go into the chess camp or was that something that you encouraged him to do? Uh, I think at the time he was uh, that he was attending the camp, that was one of the activities that they did. Um, and I guess he I, I guess he liked it a little bit more than what I thought he would. And mm-hmm. then he just stuck with it. So he's probably been playing for over a year now. Just a year. Just yeah, I think uh, it was probably a year in July. So, and so you were you've been a little surprised at his, I guess you might say, his interest and level of activity and dedication. Right, because you know I would think because he just turned nine um, on the third of October, so most kids his age are involved with gaming or um, sports um, and different activities like that. But mm-hmm. for Tim. I guess his his involvement is if in chess has has been one of his main extracurricular activities that he's really enjoyed and he's stuck with. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I I can t- testify to the fact that he is a real student of the game. I mean he he records his games. He loves analyzing them. He will analyze other games, and he'll make he's always making some interesting comments about other people's games as he's observing. So he's a real student, and um, he's got a – now, he has – he's a member of the United States Chess Federation. Isn't that correct? Yes. Yeah. Do you right offhand remember his national ranking, where he might be? I believe when I checked last month, he was at 524. Mm Mm-hmm. Which is really not accurate as far as he's a much stronger player than 500. Mm-hmm. I've seen him play. I've listened to his analysis of games. He's much stronger than 500. He's uh, he's solid, and like I say, he's he's definitely one of the best. He's definitely one of the best in our in our chess club, and all the other kids respect him. I mean, they respect him. If he's not at a tournament or not at a club meeting, they will ask about him. Yeah. Has his now? I know you've been very supportive. Why have you been so supportive? of his uh, chess activities? I, I mean, as with, even with my parents, they always supported anything that I did. So if that's something he chose and, and wants to do, then I'm going to be all in. So Great. I think it's necessary to have that, the support system. Okay. And if it's something he wants to keep pursuing, then I think I got to be his number one fan. Yeah, there you go. Makes sense. And I noticed too, I've even, uh, we're here in Louisville for our listeners and there's a place in the Grange. They've recently been doing a lot of rated games. I've noticed you've even taken them to other cities like Lagrange. Yeah, I just want to make sure he he's uh, like I said. If he's going to be all in, I'm going to be at all in too. So I right. think in order to continue to grow and advance, you got to play people that are better than you. Right. Yeah, you're absolutely correct on that. You're absolutely correct on that. Has he ever uh, expressed to you? how far he wants to take take chess, titles, tournaments, anything like that? 
No, he hasn't, but I think he might have shared some goals with you and also with a, another coach that he works with, um, with Coach E, about how far he really would like to take it. Yeah, yeah. Now, I know, yes, I know Co- Coach E, uh, again, for our listeners, you know, Coach E's one of our best chess coaches here in the city of Louisville. He's very active. And he has worked with Donovan one-on-one, hasn't he? Yes. You know, and I like to say to parents that uh, – Getting a private coach is very important. It's it's uh it's very important. If if you're interested in seeing your son or daughter get better, improve, uh, get get them a private coach. Get them a private coach. Sis, um, I know we, uh, I know you're busy, and this is Saturday, and I'm here in the office, <laughs> and I got a lot of paperwork to do too. But um, obviously, you know, again, we're very pleased with uh, Donovan's uh, participation and just want to let you know, I, I really think that in time he can become one of our, one of our leaders, not just one of our top players, but also one of our leaders too. Is there uh are there, is there any type of equipment he's, he's needing? No, I mean, I think he's got multiple chess sets. He, he does hmm. read the books um, he does go on YouTube and watch games. Wow, okay. Uh, he plays on online tournaments when he's not trying to do something else. Right. But, you know, he, he does take the time out. And uh, like you said, he's a student of the game. Definitely. So he, he finds the time to make it work. And I I always encourage him, you know, you got to – in order to be better, you have to practice. You got to put that extra work in. That's yes, right. So it just doesn't come. You just can't show up and expect to win because the people you playing, I guarantee you, they practicing and and doing what's necessary to go to the next level. Yes, ma'am. You're absolutely correct on that one. You're absolutely correct on that one. Okay, folks, this is uh, the Urban Louisville uh, Chess Club podcast, and we've been interviewing uh, Chess Master D's uh, mother and and just saying a little bit about uh, his background and and what he does to make himself – not just be one of the best uh, players in the chess club, but also really in the city. Sis, I want to thank you for your time today, and hopefully we can do something like this again. Sounds good. Just let me know. I will. Thank you so much.